What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina. Today we are doing a bullet journal plan with me for the month of March. We are already in the third month of March and wow, I'm just like 2021 is going by so, so quickly. So when I was thinking about my theme, I wanted to incorporate green because of St. Patrick's Day, even though I, you know, I'm not really a big celebrator of St. Patrick's Day. I always wear green on the actual day, but you know, I, other than that, I really don't celebrate it much. But to be festive, I was just like, you know, let's go ahead and incorporate some type of green theme for this month. And while I was brainstorming, I got the idea of frogs. So I was just like, you know what? Frogs are super cute. Let's see how hard they are to draw. I've never really drew a frog in my life. So I was just like, you know what? Let's go ahead and Google frog doodles and one of the doodles that popped up was this adorable photo of Kermit the Frog and if you've seen the Muppets you know who he is and how awesome he is so I was like you know what I'm not gonna theme my entire you know month and weekly spreads around Kermit but I will incorporate him into my cover page for the month of March. So here is my take on Kermit the Frog. I pretty much just looked at a picture of him and said all right let's just kind of mimic that and go from there. And I kind of drew him in the middle of the page. He was sort of floating so I figured you know what let's go ahead and have him stand on a tree stump because he is going to be celebrating the month of March with us and he's pretty much always in the forest. At one point I was going to draw him in a boat and try to find a song lyric from the Rainbow Connection but I couldn't decide on a good song lyric to pull from the song so I just decided decided to find this other quote that I found on Google and I was like you know what I like this quote so I will be drawing that in a bit but before I get to that side note if you ever are in the mood to hear remixes to certain songs look up Gwen Stefani's Rainbow Connection and oh my goodness it is phenomenal. I mean, of course, Kermit's version is a classic because, you know, it's the original, but I usually don't like remixes, but this one is by far an amazing, amazing remix, and it's by Gwen Stefani, and it's beautiful. That is the most I can say about it. It is it's just such a beautiful song, and it really makes you, like, believe in dreams and stuff. So, for my quote, I decided to go with a um, cursive type theme and I wanted to really incorporate all the different types of greens. This month is really dedicated to green as a whole and I really wanted to emphasize a few of the words so I wrote majority of the text in one type of green and then one word out of each sentence is in darker kind of like a dark teal green, which I really love. So the quote is, life's like a movie, write your own ending. And I really love that quote. It just makes you go after what you want in life. And I just, I really, I'm going to live by that. <laughs> so go after your dreams. You know, it's never too late to start dreaming. It's never too late to go after the dreams you've held on to for all these years. And of course, I wanted to give credit to um, Kermit the Frog. I don't know when he said this. I don't know if it's in a show or a movie, but I found it on Google. You know, the fact that if it's even true, you know, I didn't do so much research, but there was a really pretty graphic on Google that had this quote and Kermit the Frog as the person who said it. So I was like, why not? Let's go ahead and use it. If someone else said it, I apologize now for, you know, giving the credit to Kermit instead of, you know, whoever truly said it but I'm pretty sure it's Kermit the Frog since it was such a top hit on Google. For my monthly spread again I'm incorporating just like all the different greens and making sure that I have a variety of color schemes going on here with the light and dark greens. I always like starting off my monthly spread 
I'm kind of on a freehand status. I do, I count my boxes beforehand. I didn't really do it on the other page, so I was actually counting while I was filming this video, and I'm just like, okay, how many? Okay. So I, I have six little dots in between each, um, uh, like box. So in total, I am basically uh, drawing out eight, like eight pieces, like every eight I draw a line. So, and you know, it comes out even. Um, I really, usually I draw where it's all the way down, but for the month of March, the end of the month ends on a Wednesday. So I was just like, you know what, let's go ahead and just end it there. And I'll add in some more decor underneath the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And for my days of the week, I wanted to draw a light little green bubble and then go in with my black um, pen and just draw in all the numbers. And I really like the pop of color and how it adds just like a um, splash of different um, color textures, which I really love. Now, as for the days of the week, I wanted to get festive and try something new. Instead of drawing a bunch of frogs, I thought, well, let's go ahead and draw some lily pads because frogs draw or sit and lounge on lily pads. I don't know if all frogs do, but the frogs in the movies do. So I was like, this is so cute. And it's so easy to draw. I mean, you just literally draw like a little V and then connect it and make it a circle. So it's like a half, like a pie pretty much and I wanted to alternate them different ways to just showcase that you know all the lily pads aren't the same and they can be spun any way you would like. So these are my lily pads that will represent each day of the week. Now instead of drawing writing out the entire day I decided to do the initial of each day. So I start my monthlies with Sunday being the first day and then I go all the way till Saturday. As for my weeklies, I always start them on Monday. I feel Monday is like the start of the week, but when I'm visually looking at a calendar, I like to look at it in a normal format where it's just Sunday all the way through Saturday. And for the sidebar, instead of writing out a goal section, I decided to just write out March really, really big and then add in some dots for like a pop of like decor I guess you can say just to add in some more like fun stuff and then of course I had to incorporate a frog this is no frog character in particular this is just like a quick little doodle of a frog and with little feet spanning out and just drawing them in in a lime green color and big old eyes and stuff. And again, my Crayola Super Tip Markers are coming in as a savior to draw out this little frog and make them look um, all cute and stuff. So yeah, this is the frog. And I, and I saw this on Google as well. And I just love it. It looks so cartoonish. And of course, I needed to fill up some more space. So I added in some dots in another green color just to fill up the page as much as possible. So this is my monthly page. Next up, I am doing my March mood tracker. And I had to do a lot of thinking. It's just like at first I was thinking I'll draw one big huge frog and then divide it up into like little tile pieces. And then each piece would be some sort of color to represent my mood but then I was like no I don't want to do that so then I thought well maybe I could do a bunch of different lily pads and you know a whole lily pad would be like you know feeling great and then like a half lily pad would be drained and stuff but I decided to do flies instead so I know that sounds a little weird it's like why would you do flies but I thought you know frogs eat a lot of bugs so why not draw a bunch of bugs and then on the face of the bug it could have like a happy face or you know a like a meh face or a sad face just you know whatever my mood is I'm not going to have a distinct um category I will just draw whatever I'm feeling at the end of the day it's just like you know what for the most part I was you know content so I would just try draw a little you know half smile or you know a calming smile but if I'm very ecstatic and you know today was the best day ever then I'll draw a very big smiling frog but here is my frog at the bottom of the page again I'm doing that little half um <laughs> frog 
style and then I made her a girl frog because she has lashes so and then I stuck out the little tongue right there more of the doodle side I know tongues have very long tongues but I was just like you know what this this frog is just getting ready to eat and so here are my little flies I was going to draw out all 31 but my hand started cramping up very very quickly so I got to the point I was just like you know what let's let's be okay for like six Six flies and then I'm just going to draw a bunch of circles for the rest of them because I get the gist of what's happening so it's not decor it's these are all going to turn into flies eventually I will draw the rest of the body when each day comes but I just wanted to at least draw out 31 so I would know like okay this is the amount of space I have for my little bug section and my next page is dedicated to a memory page I draw like I just jot down something fun that happened throughout the month and for this page I wanted to do just like not so much focus on drawing a frog but more so just combining the color elements so I did a variety of green dots around the border and I really like how they all are just kind of randomly placed there's no really rhythm to it they're just kind of going down in whatever um collection like they're just going down sporadically and I love how it's all timed together and at first I was going to draw a frog in the middle but I was like you know what sometimes you don't need to draw a little character sometimes one frog is enough and of course writing in March memories and at in the middle so this is pretty much the spread thank you all for tuning in if you like this kind of content please like share and subscribe below I do bullet journal spreads I do happy planner spreads I do fitness happy planner spreads and I just here is everything let's do a quick flip through and yes all right thank you all so much I will see you all in the next video bye